Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the door handles on your Infinity FX35. These uh, door handles on these cars are definitely prone to break, and I'll show you what I mean right now. I've already taken the door handles off. I'm not going to show you that part. I will tell you how to take them off yourself. It's super easy. Actually, way easier than I thought. So you have like a little Torx bit in that hole. There's usually a cap on it, and you just unscrew that. This piece pops out. This, peep, nah, this piece on the driver's side pops out, and when that pops out, it doesn't pop out all the way. You just got to pull it out some and put it to the side, and then you can slide the door handle, and it comes right out. Still with me? Good. You better be. I ain't playing games. <laughs> Anyways, so, I got the door handles out right now. That's what it's supposed to look like. See how it has that little end right there? That goes in the door and grips a lever, and when you pull it, it pulls that lever. This is what the broken one looks like. And they're very prone to break right there. Almost 100% sure we could fix this. I had to take the door apart and I found the piece. Now this thing has been broken for like two years. And um, I just got the idea today. Like, you know what? Maybe the piece is inside the door. I took it apart. It was. So we're going to go ahead and fix it. Because I'm tired of only having three door handles. So what you want is you want a little, you know, plastic container or something. Uh, I'm going to use some Q-tips for it. And I'm going to use a toothpick. I will show you what I'm going to use the toothpick for in just a second. And we got our JB Weld. Now luckily I already had some of this on hand. Because when I took the door handles off earlier. I took them off so I could paint them. Or re dip them. Because that doesn't look very good to me. But then this piece broke earlier when I was taking the door handle off. So it's just the little clips on the back that broke. It just snaps on there like that. So I went and bought some JB Weld so I could fix that. Figured the JB Weld will be plenty for that and for the door handle. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right guys, this is a JB Weld I got. It's a um, body panel adhesive and gap filler. So I think it'll work well. It's OEM automotive and HD truck approved, heavy duty truck. Um, great for plastic to metal and plastic to plastic bonding. So this should work great for what we're about to try. All right guys, so what we're gonna go ahead and do then is get our toothpick. There's a hole here. There's a hole here. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I don't know why it has a hole in it. I imagine that it was uh, for casting. Oh, there's a spider. Ah, gooey. Get it off. Anyways, I imagine that it was for casting purposes. Works well for us. I don't know if yours will have a hole in it or not. If it doesn't, uh, if you get a tiny, tiny, tiny drill bit and slowly drill into it so that you don't crack it, it might help uh, because we're gonna stick a toothpick in the hole and we're gonna you know cut it to size and then stick it in this hole as well and it'll give it a stronger bond go ahead and stick it in there as far as we can get it all right that's in there as far as it's gonna go now now we're gonna cut it I'm trying to cut it not break it but i broke it damn it son of a bitch all right guys well i couldn't get the uh toothpick out it broke off on me it might help if you had like a sewing needle or something that you didn't need and you could put a piece of metal in it instead of a toothpick. That would work well. All right guys, we are in my kitchen now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drill a tiny hole in it. Tiny hole. See, see the size of that? We use this car a lot, so I want it to be strong and I don't want it to break or I could just probably glue it without. Just gonna take it nice and slow. Try to get it in there as far as you can without breaking it. We'll trim it as needed, but I think about right here should be good. Now we need to get our JB Weld and uh, go ahead and mix it. Now we are going to mix up our JB Weld. Um, if you have a little plastic container like this, great. If not, it's okay. You can just use a little plastic case with this. Just something to mix it up in. All right, guys, I just cleaned it with this stuff. This stuff is awesome if you never used it. All right, guys, now we're going to mix our JB Weld. Okay, then. It's the same color. Oh, no, one is, like, tannish and one is white-ish. Let's mix it up with this little popsicle stick. Now we will take this piece and apply it Just right on top of it, right here. And um, a little bit. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the metal right here. Just a little bit. And now, we're gonna apply some on this piece. I 
I got the Q-tips because I was going to use the Q-tips to do this, but it'll be fine. I'll probably use the Q-tips still just to clean up any excess. Nice. Alright. Now, guys, we're just going to stick it back on there. Alright, I'm just going to hold it there for a little while. <clears throat> Alright guys, as you can see, it's finally set now. Um, it feels pretty tough, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit overnight, let it fully cure all the way, and then I'm going to put another coat of this stuff on it, all the way around it, and create like a, a band around it, just to try to make sure that it doesn't break so that's what I'm going to do so I will be back with you guys first thing in the morning all right guys welcome back to day two same day for you like half a second uh, I went ahead and let the handle dry overnight it dried really good it's really strong feels really feels really solid like I mean I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it but it's not moving at all and it feels really solid so you don't have to let it dry overnight. It's only It only calls for a 15 minute set time, 30 minute cure time. So keep that in mind. The only reason I let it dry overnight is because I'm gonna make it extra durable by putting another coat all the way around it, like a band around it. And um, I'm hoping that'll keep it from breaking ever because these are a weak, weak spot on these cars. If anybody tries to grab your handle too hard and pull it, they're gonna break. So. This is something you can do. You, you could probably even do this as a preventative thing. If you wanted to take all your door handles off, take some JB Weld and just put it around this spot right here. And, um, you know, put a toothpick inside the middle like I did. Or a needle or something. Something to help keep it, you know, solid and, and also help it set better that way, I think. So, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm just going to go ahead and mix up the JB Weld. And uh, then afterwards... After it dries, I'm going to paint it. I'm going to Plasti Dip it. And uh, I'll go ahead and show that on film in case you guys want to see how I do that. So, But if not, this video is almost over for those of you that just wanted to see how to fix broken. Alright guys, the handle is fully uh, cured now. 100%. I did a little bit of shaving on it because I've already tested it. And the handle tried to get stuck open. If you sh right here, look, if the camera will focus, right there on the side you may need to shave that a little bit or sand it and uh, then the handle won't be stuck open so I'm going to show you guys real fast that it works I'm come over here to the driver's side this is actually for the passenger side but these handle handles are universal so let's take it this way put it in there then slide it back and push it forward and it's in as you guys can see it's still trying, but I think over time it'll stop. Yeah, there we go. Works great. Super easy fix. JB Weld. Uh, I used the kind that yeah, bonds to metal and plastic. So, seems to work great. I think it was like a $5 fix. First buying, I don't even know how expensive these handles are. I'm pretty sure they're up there in the price, like 50 bucks or so. But... That was a five dollar fix and it works perfect now i think what we're going to go ahead and do is peel this plasti dip off of here and then re plasti dip it and then we're going to get this car back together i've already got all these plasti dip and ready to go up i was debating on clear coating it or not um i'm not sure if i'm going to i just want to get it back together so i can get my car washed but yeah let's go ahead and get to this part of the film that you guys are watching whatever So first coat. All right, I think in between coats, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting the car back together. So um, we'll just save this one for last. All right, guys, we got this door open. We're gonna go ahead and get the door handle on. What you're gonna do 
is, I mean, I've showed you guys this a million times, but let's put that in there. This is the bad handle. That would be better if we shut the door. Put that in there. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put this piece in. Now we're gonna tighten it up. This car is so dirty. All right, there we go. It's all back together, got all the door handles on. The good thing is though, it's on there. Looks good. It's dirty now from my hands, but forgot guys there's these little caps and they go right here to cover the holes. You want to put those in. That way water doesn't get inside of your door and rust it out. Ugh. I don't know where the other caps are though. Alright guys, we are completely done with this car. She's looking great. This side, you can't see all the dirt. Come over to the side where the sun is shining on it. Look at that. Dirty. It's looking good though. Door handle works now. Perfect, perfect. Super happy about that. It only took two days. <laughs> it didn't really take that long. Now the last thing I gotta do today is put another coat on here and put those back on. But I'm not going to show that in the video, guys. I'm just going to do it real fast. If you would like to see a video on it, go ahead and let me know, and then I'll just redo it and make another video. But if you don't want to see a video on it, well, I'm not going to make a video on it. I will make a video, however, once I get new ones. <clears throat> I will be making a video installing the new ones. Or if I decide to tent them with the um, headlight tent, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to. If I do, I need to get LED lights. <laughs> So they shine through the tent really good. So it's going to be a wrap for the video. Hope it helped you out. Hope you enjoyed it. It'll work for now. And I mean, I'm going to order some new uh, door handles anyways. I'm going to get some glossy black ones. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. This car is going to be looking really good before long. Got a lot of plans for it. So great calibers too. Those definitely got to be done. And I definitely will make a video doing those. Um, that's going to be a lot because I've got to sand the back ones and the front ones aren't really that rusty, but the back ones are. So I got to take care of that. Anyways, guys. Yep. That's a wrap. Hope you have a great night.